Morning, Fraser. Friday morning, January 26, 2024. It is uh, 628 AM and Constance Rose was born when? After 530, but I didn't get a time yet. Uh, Constance was born approximately after 530 AM. Uh, so eh, close to an hour ago kind of thing, right? So uh, Allie had a dream last Monday where, uh, can I say this? Allie had a dream on Monday uh, where she saw that Constance was born at seven pounds, two ounces. So she actually eat, uh, texted herself and sent herself a note. And uh, sure enough, sure enough, Constance was seven pounds, two ounces, which is pretty cool. So everybody's healthy. Uh, we haven't gone up to uh, see anybody yet. But as soon as uh, they say we can go up, we're going to head up there and uh, say howdy and meet our granddaughter. Let's zoom off of Rick. And one, two, three, and close. <laughs> Sorry, let me see enough of Rick's face. Aww. Can I pray? Probably not. <laughs> Kleenex. Father God, thank you. Thank you for health of Jess. Thank you for health of Constance. Mm -hmm. Pray a blessing on them both. I pray specifically right now for Constance, just for blessing the Lord. Uh, just that everybody who ever comes in contact with her is, is blessed and feels your presence, Lord. We know that this child is here. She's not ours, she's yours. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to just watch over her and steward her. God, I pray that you give Allie and I the, the continued blessing and ability to support Sam and Jess in their efforts, Lord. So pray that she's a blessing to you, and thank you for blessing us. Her name is perfect. She's like a constant reminder of how good and constant and faithful God is. To us. Amen. So, so, way to find the name. <laughs> Very special name. And the hat is really cool. Yeah, I fell in love with that. Yeah, I'm good. All you guys can go. We'll just, I'll just stay here with her. <laughs> I can stop now. No. <laughs> Takes a little while to get used to. She's like, dude. Sorry, I'm a little. Give me a little. The little hat's coming off. Put it down a bit lower so Sam can fix your hat. Instruction manual. Who needs that? You don't need that. There's only two wheels. Nope, oh, more wheels. Ten more wheels. Ah. Feels like an axle. You know what they say? Looks like an axle. Feels like an axle. Smells like an axle. Steering wheels would be in the front. This would be a steering wheel. Yeah. Don't do this lock kind of thing, right?
I do not need the instructions for this. I do not. That's the front. I thought that was the back, but it's, I don't think it is. Is that? No, it can't be. All right, I got I to use the instructions, man. This is not making sense to me at all. It looks all topsy turvy and backwards. cardboard or other protective cover to damage the prevent damage to the floor surface well I don't think that's much of an issue right now yeah that's all right they show it already put like come on how do you get it up check that the stroller completely latched open Right idea. I didn't need the instructions. I had the right idea. I just didn't want to break it. I was scared to break it. It's plastic. You know. I can break anything. Be check that the stroller latch is completely latched open before continuing. Well, I can guarantee it's not because, you know, there. Okay. Are you reading? No, I don't need to read it. I'm, like, I'm just looking at the pictures. I'm not really reading. <laughs> Front wheels. The double wheels. I was right. See, I'm right about all this stuff. I just make it so confusing. Yeah. I'm okay to test the washer, right? What? I'm okay to test the washer. Test what washer? Their washer, they haven't used it yet. Well, I hope you don't have to test it. I hope you just use it because. <laughs> That's what I was kind of going for, but you know. Great. Oh, I'll get the stroller to see if it fits in too. Or the car seat. Oh. Okay. Check that the wheels are attached by pulling on the wheel assembly. All right, whatever. Uh, warning choking hazard. Remove immediately. Yeah. It's, it's a choking hazard. These are not plastic. Okay, snap. Get in place. Again. I feel like you're judging me. Do I look like I'm judging him? I don't think so. Would I judge him?
Before attaching the wheel, we sure to place the stroller on top of a piece of cardboard or some other protective cover to prevent damage to the floor. Oh. Oh. I'm not going to get much more protective than that. Seriously? This is different. I actually want it on the side. Firmly attach hub adapter. Onto the wheel. Okay. That seems oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. So these are just a basic push thing. <clears throat> All right. So they've called for a hammer. I'm going to go outside and say a mallet. Mallet should be better, I think. sense now. I couldn't figure out how the brakes work. And then I couldn't figure out why these things had like these these weird flute things to it. Maybe they're all fluted. But the when you hit the brake it goes inside like that. Right? That makes sense. expect you to get it into this little spot. They don't even show you like the lines to get it. <sighs> well, no, I'm good. I'm just talking to Fraser. I feel like you're complaining to Fraser. No. Fraser was complaining a little bit, but I told him, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. That's part of our history. That's part of our relationship. That's what we do. <laughs> there we go. Why is there a log on the bed? Oh, another log on the fire. Oh, these things, I have astutely found out, if you push those up, can they stay straight? But otherwise, Woohoo! Off-roaders. There's uh, cup holders. Cup holders. Is there cup holders for mom and dad, too? Yes, there is. I was getting to that. I knew, I knew that was from Amanda. I knew that. Yeah, that's better. Is it? Really? Maybe you should read the manual. Is it? I don't need to read the manual. I haven't read the manual yet. Why would I start now? Down 
a long way, so. Let's read this. <sighs> they call this a plastic piece. They don't know. They don't know. Open canopy. What's that? Put it like that way. You think, right? Right? So then it should go down, like it should go down into there, but that's kind of there. Maybe it goes underneath that. Maybe we have to move that forward first. Maybe. Oh, and how do you open it? That doesn't help. No, that doesn't help at all. It can't go that way. That just doesn't make any sense at all. Did you get the right one? Yeah. The it's right the only one. one. Yeah. Did I get the right one? Did you turn it on? Did you plug it in? These are the questions that need to be asked sometimes. And you all know, you've witnessed some of the things. <laughs> it has to go there. It has to go there. There's no way it's going down another four inches. Okay. It's just not done. Gotta check the wheel line too. Take that too. Not quite as gullible as I thought you'd go now. There, okay, you got one. On the inside? On the inside. And that's, that's like underneath. I know it's underneath. That's what it's supposed to do. Is it? Yeah. Pretty sure. Okay. That yes. Okay. Let me make it look right now. Okay. The back is perfect. It's exactly what it's going to do. It's exactly. Alright. It's got like a quarter of an inch to go. Uh, does it say snap? It does say snap. And it's, it's an emphatic snap. It's an emphatic snap. Maybe you should do both sides at the same time. You can do it. Everything's in the way, but there's nothing I can do about that. There's a little hole up in there that it goes up into, right? It's like a little. And this is as far forward as this can go. Sure. Here. Come on. Don't do it. <coughs> I feel like this should be able to come undone now. Like this shouldn't be so caught underneath there. I think it should be caught underneath there. I don't think it, I don't think, what does it say? See, that's pushing it right there. That's what's pushing it, this thing. So. All right. All right. I think this is the one for a wrong, the wrong. Maybe it is. You know, the wrong unit, whatever. Put the wrong one in there. Maybe. Leave it for now. Make Sam push it on. Hold it. I don't want to lose a finger. Sacrifice the body. Yeah, see, it's pushing my finger. Nothing. Me the mallet. Or let Sam do it. That can be his part. I cannot not finish. I cannot 
not you finished. Can, that way Sam has part of it to it's, do Sam anyway. has part of it to, he's got the, he did the child part. Open canopy, snap into, it doesn't even say snap in place, it just says open canopy, snap. It doesn't even, that's all it says. That's all it says. Okay, don't let it go forward. Make sure somebody fits in this. Marco, come on. Come on. Come here, Marco. Come here. 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 Stanley's messing around. See Stanley? He just wanted a little stool. Where was Stanley when I was trying to put this thing together? Where was Stanley when I started sweating, trying to make it snap? Was he helping me? No. I saw him down, laughing. Having a nap. Here, Fraser. Still breathing a little hard from uh, putting that silly thing on. That was really, like... That was tough. That was not. I was, a, was a little concerned about breaking it, but I was willing to spend the money to buy a whole brand new one rather than let it beat me. <clears throat> but it didn't break. But man, I thought it was gonna like that was. It's never coming off. I guarantee you, it's on there for life. So that's good, right? It's it's stable, stuck even. You do not need to glue that. That's guaranteed. <clears throat> anyway, that's done. So that'll put Chaz's mind at, at ease a little bit. She wanted that stroller done so that she can, you know, start walking with uh, Constance as soon as she gets home. Not a lot for projects today. We've been a little busy, you know, with the whole birth of our grandchild. I mean, that was, that took some effort. I'm not going to lie, man. It was, you know, uh, we, we pulled through. Yeah, it was not an easy job, but, you know, I, I feel proud that, you know, Allie and I pulled through. It's good. <laughs> uh, Chaz did really, really well. Um, her and Sam both. Uh, Chaz said that uh, Sam was extremely supportive of her. And uh, everybody else keeps saying that, you know, Chaz just kept smiling. She, you know, she'd have her contractions apparently. And, and once the contraction was done, she'd be smiling again, right? So she was just really, she was really stoked for the whole experience. Um, and, you know, I think it was really, really hard on her at times, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm really proud of her. Like, she did a phenomenal job, so. And Constance is pretty cute, just saying, right? So, got to hold her there for a little while, which is cool. I could probably sit there and hold her for hours. I can, I had a, I had a real quick vision, you know, of, of, uh, her at like three or four years old, you know, running around and handing me tools and stuff like that as I was holding her, so that's, uh, yeah, that's just kind of cool, right? Man, to watch, you know, Sam, I still remember, I still remember bringing Sam home from, from the hospital, right? So, to watch him do that is, uh, it's a remarkable experience, it's pretty cool. And like I say, they're both so intent on making sure that that child has the absolute best and is, is happy and I'm just really, I'm really happy and proud of them both. I wanted to read to you tonight, uh, still out of Matthew, but it's chapter 9, and it's verses 9 to 13. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew 
sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. And that references uh, a scripture in the Old Testament. Hosea 6, 6. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God, rather than burnt offerings. So it says acknowledgement. So acknowledgement in the New NIV Testament is to acknowledge God, right? But the, the word in the King James Version was knowledge. And it means discernment, understanding, wisdom. I for, so, so what the verse says is, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I desire understanding of God rather than burnt offerings. So rather than all your sacrifices, rather than all the things that you can do, all the works, all the, all the good deeds, all anything, what God prefers more than that is that you actually seek and get an understanding of God rather than all your works. And that's why, again, as we've talked about, <clears throat> we'll swing back over to Ephesians. Ephesians 2, verse 8. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this, not of yourselves, is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God doesn't want sacrifice. He wants a relationship. I know I keep saying that. But that's what he wants. He died on the cross. Blood shed rose from the grave is seated at the right hand of God he's there offering you this relationship and this relationship again is offered free can't earn it, can't steal it, can't buy it that's exactly what Jesus is talking about in chapter 9 of Matthew I've come to call the sick not the healthy it's not the healthy that need a doctor it's the sick Christ didn't come to save the righteous he came to save the sinners there are no righteous so everybody is in the the same category of sinners if you know you're a sinner you know you need help you know you need god if you think you're good enough for god then you're shooting yourself in the foot because you you're going against what god says in the first place that there is none righteous not one so God's come for everybody. God's called everybody. Hope you enjoyed seeing the video of uh, my new granddaughter, Constance. I love you. I miss you. God loves you very, very much. I look forward to seeing you soon. And I will post more tomorrow.